As World War II was coming to an end and America's servicemen began returning home, the United States entered a time in history known as the Baby Boom Era, also known as the Fabulous 50s. The rise of rock and roll, the jitterbug, and the red scare of communism made its way throughout the hearts and minds of most Americans. The beginning of the Korean conflict caused women Marines to take more prominent non-combat roles due to men on the front lines once again. This opened the doors for Marines like Chief Warrant Officer Ruth Wood and Staff Sergeant Barbara Barnwell to step up and serve proudly. This is the Marine Corps through the decades. The 1950s was a breakthrough decade for everything, from household items to the entertainment industry and to international events like the Korean conflict, where the Marine Corps was called upon to fight in heavy combat. This mobilized the Women Marines Reserve to support all non-combatant tasks. Meanwhile, products like Mr. Potato Head, the first TV remote, and Velcro were in the homes of many Americans who were chasing the American dream. Despite the war, many famous TV shows debuted such as I Love Lucy, The Ed Sullivan Show, and What's My Line, a game show where a panel of judges tried to guess a person's line of work. Those judges probably wouldn't have been able to guess Lieutenant Colonel Julia Hamblett's line of work. She was the new director of the Women Marines Reserve in 1953. More prominent women Marines like Chief Warrant Officer Ruth Wood, the first woman to go through the Warrant Officers Program, made a lasting impact on the Corps' history. Marines like Staff Sergeant Barbara Barnwell, the first female to earn the Navy Marine Corps Medal for saving a fellow Marine from drowning in 1952, showed that women Marines are always on duty. One can see that the 50s brought a plethora of memorable icons of American culture, and it also brought many opportunities to women within the Marine Corps. These Marines are shining examples of the Corps' values of honor, courage, commitment, and continue to pave the way for future female Marines. Despite the Korean conflict ending in early 1953, America was still fighting communism in the upcoming hippie era of the 60s.